Brother Ron and Brother Said Sisters. Well, the introduction was very long. And then, uh, back on the other one. But anyway, yes, we are uh, with the Brotherhood for 17 years. And uh, I was a chapter head. So I am called Tatani. All the senior leaders or all the chapter heads throughout the country, they are called Tatang. So whenever you see a former chapter head, they are called Tatang. Anyway, my, our topic for today is about the Christian family. And our, the goal of this talk is to stress the importance of marriage and the need to build strong Christian families. Also, to strengthen relationships between spouses and to have parents seriously assume their responsibility over their children. Marriage and family are counted among the most precious of human possessions. Families are the basic units of human society. So we are the smallest unit of society next to the or of or to the uh, the well-being of the individual person and of both human and Christian society is closely bound with the healthy state of conjugal and family life. First is an institution created by God. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. That is why he gave me Sister Joy to be my partner. As I am from Luzon and she is from Mindanao. So that was uh, given to us by Genesis chapter 2, verse 18. And the second reason is for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and cling to his wife, and the two shall become as one. Matthew chapter 19, verse 9. Though I am, verse 5. Though I am here, I usually go home to Long York every year to visit still my family because we have an apple mama. And the third one is, thus they are no longer two but one flesh. Therefore, let no man separate what God has done. Matthew 19, verse 6. This is because we have two children, as uh, Dr. Gilbert said, they are both professionals. Relationship, relations between husband and wife. Wives should submit, should be submissive to their husbands as if to the Lord. Because the husband is head of his wife, just as Christ is head of his body, the church. Husbands love your wives as Christ loves the church. He gave himself up for her. Husbands should love their wives as they do their own bodies. This passage doubtless reflects features of the prevailing understanding of marriage, according to which women are subordinate to men. Do you believe in that? Mas masubordinate ang mga women, I think that is no longer applicable today. Ah, nakakali ng situation. Yet, it also bursts through any patriarchal understanding of marriage. It speaks of the love and self-surrender of spouses, and so of a not mutual, mutual subordination. Mutual and loving fidelity presupposes the fundamental equality of the person in the race. Family, family, husband, and dignity acknowledge the equal and total love. The church does not want the subjection of the wife to the husband's dictates. Her teaching is that there must be a subordination in love. So, mga wives, subordinate kira po sa mga husband. 
but with love. For the wife does not rule over her own body, but the husband does. Likewise, the husband does not rule over his own body, but the wife does. The intimate partnership of married life and love has been established by the Creator and qualified by his laws and is rooted in the conjugal covenant of irrevocable personal consent. The Christian family. God made the marriage state the beginning and foundation of human society. Parents have the obligation to pass on the faith and to educate them in it. They are to accomplish this by word and example. They offer them wise guidance in the choice of vocation. To assert with vigor and the right and duty of parents to give their children a Christian upbringing. My son was a uh, altar boy or server of the altar when he was still in grade 5 up to he finished uh, high school. So we always bring them to church for the uh, days of obligations, holidays, but now, I want to go down the lucky. I want to go down every Sunday or every Saturday during the anticipated uh, mass. Who said, forgive me? It's like this. These are our two children. They are both graduate of UP, of Spanios. Our uh, daughter is a, he's an agriculturist. He's connected with the Department of Agriculture here, Regional Office at uh, Vienesa. And our son, a uh, environmental planner, just recently passed the licensure for exam as June. And he's connected to the Office of the President on Climate Change Mission. Thank you for listening. And I will give you my wife. Sister wife for the next talks. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. My topic is on the family, Christian family under attack. The Christian family under attack from secular humanism. Contrary to some popular misconception, Secular humanism is a movement with specific people promoting it and with a well-defined declaration of principles. The secularists, as their name suggests, limit their vision only to this world and refuse to see things in the light of eternity as Christians do. In article number six of Humanist Manifesto, here is an example of a position which is contrary to Christian doctrine. In the area of sexuality, we believe that intolerant attitudes often cultivated by Orthodox religions and puritanical cultures and duly repressed sexual conduct. The right of birth control, abortion, and divorce should be recognized. While we do not approve of exploitive, denigrating forms of sexual exploration, they should not in themselves be considered evil without countenancing mindless permissiveness or unbridled promiscuity. A civilized society should be a tolerant one. Short of harming others or compelling them to do likewise, individuals should be permitted to express their lifestyles as they desire. We wish to cultivate the development of a responsible attitude toward sexuality, in which humans are not exploited as human, as sexual objects, and which intimacy, sensitivity, respect, and honesty in interpersonal relations are encouraged. 
Modern education for children and adults is an important way of developing awareness and sexual maturity. In an excerpt from Encyclical Divini, Divini Redemptoris, refusing to human life any sacred or spiritual character, such a doctrine logically makes of marriage and family life a purely artificial and civil institution, the outcome of a specific economic system. There exists no matrimonial bond of a juridico moral nature that is not subject to, it, to the being of the individual. The Christian family under attack from economic pressures. Economic pressures have added to the woes of the family. Millions more wear and are disrupted by the mothers, not only mothers, but also fathers, being forced to work abroad. Even more babies and children wear and are being deprived of good parenting. The number of babies and children who are now deprived of good family life is increasing geometrically. Uh, whether you, you uh, uh, believe it or not, and a single parent na uh, mabibig sa bata has an effect on the children. Uh, take it from me because I am a teacher. Now, ang bata na us-erase na usap a parent, na have your effect like, effect, like uh, kung babae, mangita siya father figure, so ang iyong boyfriend, sige, hindi mo lang. Uh, or the boys, they grow up na kanang medyo gay, medyo effeminate kay kanang mangita o father figure. Sige man siya na as iyong mama. No? Okay. When a child is denied good parenting, he develops personal disturbances of one kind or another as he, he passes these psychological difficulties on to his children and ultimately society loses its vitality as the number of disturbed people increases. So what can we do to prevent all these uh, problems? Number one, Decide if you want your family to live in an environment of Christian life. So decide now and here. Na may uban mo ingon nga. Ang unya na na ugat ko na ang mga bata na makasabot na sila sa Bible. So decide here and now. Second, plan and take the time to build a strong family with Christian values. Parents sometimes enroll their children in Catholic schools. Pero, karon practically among parents, they enroll in public schools. So, whether or not your, your, uh, if your children are enrolled in the public school, do not wait for the church or the school to teach your children about prayers. Huh? Okay. Then schedule your priorities to ensure that the family has time together. So learn to say no to other activities. Like yesterday, kasi kung sa may kabisi ni Brother Ace, kung prepare kami ang linga to, naingon man ako ang anak niya, no, ito tapos sa amin sa mga tanaw ka o crazy rich Asians. So, ibinta na ng mga trabaho, so it was a family bonding of sorts, no? So we had a big scene, a on Salawas. So, pero at the back of our minds, na kay kuluhan ko na nagulat sa one baby. Okay. And then when we went home, mga eight o'clock the last night, we prayed the rosary along the way. So that was a great family bonding. Then schedule frequent family recreations like outings, movies, eating out, kaling, eating out. Ganina sa radyo, nakasa TV, na pinalunggan na ninyo. Huwag gawing handlang ang pera. Kaon sa gawas, 
Kaon sa dawas, dawas sa balay. Na amoy garden, diba? O na amoy terrace, na amoy trees, and uh, around your house. So you can change the ambience of your usual lunch, breakfast, or dinner. Na amoy ka sa dawas. Away from the TV, away from gadgets. No? O as in ng tortuan ka ng naipunan, o huwag gawin handang ang pera. Okay, ang uban mo, ikaw magungaw ka sa gawas, gawas, literally, ang sa makro, sa... No? So, it is not always uh, the, the thing. And then, one way of uh, having frequent family uh, bonding is uh, enjoying, we only, we, we only, we not only enjoy the food, but we also enjoy the process of making the food cooking the food. No? So, assign someone to slice, assign someone to peel, buka sana. Along the way, yeah, sa inyong banting, na naamang sa kusina, you will learn a lot from your children. Don't you know that ang mga bata, hindi na kayo balong magamit po si Leo, o Kani, na kayo balong mo, kayo balong magiwa. No? We should know, kay kami ni Sis Ethel, teacher lang ni sa PLP. No? So, Bilik sila kayo malong mo kanit. So, that alone is one, one, uh, and, um, sign that children are no longer uh, helping in the kitchen. No? Mukaon lang. So, uh, enjoy also the process of preparing the food together. Uh, kami po ni Brothers, we usually bring our children to the NAC, uh, the National Anniversary Celebration of BCDP every year. For you, uh, uh, among the CLP, for your information, I mean, BCDP has a yearly National Anniversary Celebration. Last uh, summer, we had it at Subi. Uh, and then, only pinapangandaman sa mga members that don't manila ilang mga anak. So, that is also one way of uh, bonding. So that your children will also know what you are into. Next is, uh, pray together. The family that prays together stays together. So, hindi lang mga simba, kinsa ninyo mga rosary. Ano ba yung mag-rosary sa gabi eh? Raise your hand, be honest. Oh, wala ka nga, no, no, raise my hand. So, the rosary is a very powerful prayer, I tell you. Kami, naaman tayo first a sorry group every Wednesday sa cathedral. Sis Chen would like to call it the powerhouse of the BCPP because we pray for our community's intentions, no? Uh, you should know that some, many are praying for you. Okay, so, so next, do you also pray before meals? Yes. Do you also pray together with your children before sleeping? Yes. Okay. Six is participate in church services and activities together as a family. Parisi suki ni brothers kaniya. Our son was a sacristan. They five pa siya hangtod for till kunya. Dahil siya kwan ba nga magumato, magumato serve. Yang mas kes, ada tak pelak nak? Kau mana sir? Ma computer. Sige, yang ada pelak ni ma computer. Only later, when he was already in his third year, ini aku. Ma sir, kau kat lawan, so that your sacrifice in serving the mas during the first mas kat lawan, you offer that so that you will pass the buka. You get college admission test. So every morning you get. Basta kung mumatapod ko para isend ang put siya. So, buti na nakapasalasad siya. Okay, so... 
Uh, many of you can also be a part of the liturgical committee. Kaya magbasa sa church, no? Uh, like this is Ains, ang iyong mga anak are readers in the uh, mass, no? Then, assume as parents, assume your obligation as educators to teach your children Christian faith and morals. So, dili na nato biyaan ang school na mo teach sa uh, character, no? Do you, do you teach your children the three magic words? Uh, what are the three magic words? Kamu na kong pangutan doon. Please, I'm sorry and thank you. Oh, teach that to your children. The three magic words. Please, I'm sorry or oh, thank you. Later, kung automatic na akong use na sila anak mga words, automatic kami kumawas naman na sa ila. No? Pareho sa akong anak, basta mo abit sa church. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ano, no? Automatic na. Okay, and then we also teach our children our advocacy. The Be Honest Campaign. Be honest even if you are not. Tapos sa likod. Even if you, if, even if others are not, even if others will not, and even if others cannot. Um, one time, ako ngayon na ako ang boy na, tapos maghatak ko doon, guys. Kaya naman sila gawin. Siya nga nung maghatak ng tang, nagdako naman na kayong Roman Catholic Church. Na siya, di ba nga ang UP, ng radical kayo, una-una. Nung maghatak ko ng tang, nagdako man kayo ang simbahan. So that's what you know. That's what you think. Pero nagang may pagpapanon ang church ng kayo abangan. O pero, sabihin mo, uh, I always tell him that the, the, what Father Herb, our spiritual director, said, tithes is, is the rent that you pay for paying for your stay on earth. Tithes is your rent in staying on earth. Okay. So there is a challenge. Living as a Christian family is demanding. Much is expected of you. The decision is yours to make. No one else can do it for you. So what is your decision? Remember, Christ is coming on you. Thank you and good afternoon.